Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Rabbi Yates. Hope you are enjoying these readings of the Book of Numbers. Strangely, today's reading has taken me at least a 10 attempts due to the fact that I kept struggling with the Hebrew names of this chapter. I hope you will forgive the mispronunciations and be able to focus on what God is trying to say to you today through his word. It's Numbers chapter 10 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask, as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 10. The always spoke to Moses, saying, Make two trumpets of silver. You shall make them a beaten work. You shall use them for the calling of the congregation, and for the journeying of the camps. When they blow them, all the congregation shall gather themselves to you at the door of the tent of meeting. If they blow just one, and then the princes, the heads of the thousands of Israel, shall gather themselves to you. When you blow an alarm, the camps that lie on the east side shall go forward. When you blow an alarm, the second time, the camps that lie on the south side shall go forward. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the assembly is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but you shall not sound an alarm. The sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow the trumpets. This shall be to you for a law forever throughout your generations. When you go to war in your land against the adversary who oppresses you, then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets. And then you will be remembered before Yahweh your God, and you will be saved from your enemies. Also in the day of your gladness, and in your set feasts, and in the beginnings of your months, you shall blow the trumpets of your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be to you. A memorial before your God. I am Yahweh your God. In the second year, in the second month, on the twentieth day of the month, the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle of the testimony. The children of Israel went forward according to the numbers out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud stayed in the wilderness of Paran. They first went forward according to the commandment of Yahweh by Moses. First, the standard of the camp of the children of Judah went forward according to their armies. Nashon, the son of Amidab, was over his army. Nathaniel, the son of Zuar, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Eshkar. Eliab, the son of Helon, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Zebulon. The tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon, and the sons of Mahari, who brought the tabernacle, went forward. The standard of the camp of Reuben went forward according to their armies. And as the son of Sidur was over his army, Shemaleel, the son of Zerasidai, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Simeon. And Asaph, the son of Joel, was over the army of the tribe of the children of God. The Kharaphites set forward, bearing the sanctuary, the others set up for the tabernacle before they arrived. The standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies. And Shemar, the son of Hamad, was over his army. Gamayal, the son of Bedazar, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Manasseh. Abidan, the son of Gedeai, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Benjamin. The standard of the camp of the children of Dan, which was over the rear guard of all camps, set forward according to their armies. Ezra, the son of Amishadai, was over his army. Pegal, the son of Akon, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Asher. Ehera, the son of Enan, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Naphtali. Thus were the travels of the children of Israel according to their armies, and they went forward. Moses said to Horobab, the son of Uriel, the Meneite, Moses' father-in-law, We are journeying to the place of which Yahweh said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will treat you well, for Yahweh has spoken well concerning Israel. He said to him, I will not go. But I will depart to my own land, and to my relatives. Moses responded, Don't leave us, please, because you know how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and you can be our eyes. It shall be, if you go with us, yes, it shall be, that whatever God the Yahweh does to us, we will do the same to you. They set forward from the mount of Yahweh, three days' journey. The ark of Yahweh's covenant went before them, three days' journey to seek out a resting place for them. The cloud of Yahweh was over them by day, 
when they set forward from the camp. When the ark went forward, Moses said, Rise up, Yahweh, and let your enemies be scattered. Let those who hate you flee before you. When it rested, he said, Return, Yahweh, to the ten thousands of the thousands of Israel. <laughs>